Welcome to Nursing School Explain in this video on orthostatic vital signs. Now when we check orthostatic vital signs, we check the patient's blood pressure and heart rate in three different positions. So we're going to start with the patient supine for at least two minutes and while they are laying down, we'll check their blood pressure and their heart rate. Then we'll have them sit up slowly, check their blood pressure and heart rate again. And then again, we'll have them stand up and check the blood pressure and heart rate in all three different positions. Now, as we're recording or collecting the data, if there is a drop of more than 20 millimeters of mercury in systolic blood pressure, and or more than a 15 millimeter of mercury drop in the diastolic blood pressure and or the patient complains of dizziness or has an episode of syncope meaning they pass out then this is considered orthostatic hypotension and therefore the vital signs come into play now this sometimes is also called postural hypertension because the patient changes postures and of course, if any of this happens, when the patient changes positions and they feel dizzy, they're at higher risk for fall. So we definitely want to be aware what's going on with the patient. Now, sometimes the, the middle step of sitting can be skipped, but it's definitely safer to do that intermediate position change from laying down to standing up or having the patient sit down. Now, what causes this orthostatic hypotension? Typically, when we are upright, our blood pulls with gravity in the lower extremities, and therefore we have less of a blood return to the brain and the heart. When we change positions now from laying down flat, all that blood pulls with gravity basically evenly throughout the our bodies and then when we change there are different requirements because now gravity has a different effect on our blood volume and normally the autonomic uh, nervous system responds to the postural changes by vasoconstriction helping to get the blood into the right um, locations meaning the heart and the brain to keep the blood pressure up and that's also done by vasoconstricting and increasing the heart rate which increases cardiac output and blood pressure but if there's an abnormal response in the autonomic nervous system then the patient has this orthostatic hypotension and we also call this autonomic nervous system dysfunction now most likely the cause is antihypertensives because the patient's receptors um, are regulated differently as an effect of the antihypertensives and therefore every patient with on any kind of antihypertensive should be cautioned about this orthostatic hypotension now certainly with increasing age the autonomic nervous system is not functioning as appropriately the vessels cannot constrict and dilate as they do in our younger ages but also certain cardiac medications can cause this postural hypertension but also fluid volume deficit or dehydration so if there's not enough blood volume to accommodate these changes in position then the patient is going to feel dizzy or maybe pass out on us and the blood pressure will drop as they change positions now what do we do with that the solution of the treatment if there's dehydration we want to hydrate the patient whether that's why iv or oral fluids and then we want to caution them to change their position slowly and observe for dizziness and presyncope and take several minutes when they're on antihypertensives to go from a laying down position to a sitting position first make sure they get their bearings they don't feel dizzy and then slowly stand up maybe stand there for a couple minutes and then start walking so thank you for watching this video on orthostatic hypotension. Also check out the other videos that apply here for the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system as well as fluid volume deficit or dehydration. Thanks for watching.